going to say a tongue twister, but I can't remember one, so I'm not going to. Tongue twisters. Hey guys, welcome to the Hookah Advocates. I'm Bracken. And I'm Chris. And today we're talking about the Gorgana Pond. Now, the Gorgana Pond, Pond Hookah? Pond, Pan? Pan. Go, Gorgana Pan Hookah, not Pond. Pond is good though. I think it is Pond or Pan. Depends on where you're from. I think it's Pan because of the. has like a pan shaped disc. I don't know. Is that a stretch? I don't know. It doesn't say. It's not like, hey, it's called this for X, Y, or reasons. Um, so what we have in front of you is everything that basically comes in this box. The box, boom. Minus the base. Yeah. Get the box out of here. Now we just have the HJ decanter, which you can get on Hookah John's website. And he has two options for you to buy the Gorgana. The first option is for $179, which was slashed down recently. Uh, you can get it with the... HJ decanter, or if you have your own hookah, which John knows that a lot of people have their own bases and you know don't really need to buy another base for another hookah, uh, you can just buy the Gorgana stick and the tray and the hose for 129 which I think is a pretty good deal. I mean, that's right up there with something uh, like the, the Viro hookah that's something like reasonably priced where like if you break it, you can basically just go out and buy another one. Like it's not that expensive, not gonna break the bank. Uh, which is pretty cool. Price points mean a lot. As you can see, this is a stick model hookah. They are all the rage right now. I think pretty much everybody's got a stick model that they're bringing to the market because they're simple, they're easy, uh, and they're, they kind of fit into that minimalistic lifestyle. What is it? It's less is more. Less is more, exactly. And so taking a closer look at the Gorgana, uh, something that sets this apart from other stick models is what you see is what you get as far as breakdown. Uh, a lot of uh, the competitors will have a detachable down stem, the uh, up stem will detach, but with the Gorgana, the only pieces that you can remove are the hose port, the bowl port, and the tray. It still makes it fairly easy to clean. You can fit it in your sink, uh, but if you're trying to fit this in a smaller yeah, if bag... If you're trying to travel with it, it makes it kind of a, a problem, and I think that's the one thing that really holds this pipe back. Also, the diffuser doesn't come off. Right, so it's, I, I haven't seen a diffuser that was built on in a while. Like right. they, most of them just come off. Now. If you were putting this in like a full size travel bag, mm -hmm. this would definitely fit. I mean, yeah, you, you, you take you off the tray. You fit this in yeah. your suitcase. Uh -huh. uh, you might have some explaining to do. And yeah, like, or like you have could, to explain what this metal rod is. This would be a really good bag. pipe to check. Yes, uh, you could put it in your check bag. It wouldn't add too much weight. You know, you only got fifty pounds this, of clothes. This pipe is actually great, like to go to your friend's house. This it's, is a wonderful travel pipe. It's locally. so light. It's so light. You just throw it in with any, everything. It's a land pipe. Yeah, and you don't gotta worry about like too many dings or anything like that. There's uh, not much. It, it's just simple. There's not much to it. But uh, I, I think for me, a con about this is it not being able to break down. I think you want to be able to break it. Down? I want to be able to break it down and put it in like a Ziploc bag, like like I do with like the Odin pipe or the Matt Pair or okay. the Light Smoke. Like I'm so used to being able to break down these pipes and put them away if I'm not gonna use them, change out my rotation of hookahs that. I, my only con, honestly, my only con on this is that it doesn't break down. But well, does it need to? No, that's more like a really personal preference. It doesn't really need to break down. If I'm coming over to your house, I'm bringing this. Yeah, because it's light. It's light. It, you can literally put it in your pocket. Like, just have it stick out of your pocket. Okay, is that a cargo shorts joke? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You have a lot of pockets. Well, Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to put it together, we're going to smoke out of it, and give you our initial impressions.
right guys, so now we have the whole thing set up. Uh, we also wanted to mention that the actual handle itself has this really cool like laser engraved like floral pattern on it. You can't see it from here, but I'll th also throw in some B-roll footage and... It's like a vine. It's pretty cool. This is actually laser cut too. You can feel it, you can see it. If you know anything about manufacturing, you know right away what it is. So we are smoking some uh, Tangiers and an 80 foot 80 out of the Gorgana Pan, Pan, Pan Hookah. You decide what you're calling it, but um, this is a wonderful pipe for what it is. It's very simple. There's no there's no whistles except for the purge. I think I think that having no ball bearings is kind of cool because we've seen what. Have you ever seen a pipe that didn't have anything like that? I think this might be one of the first pipes I've ever personally used that the purge wasn't based on a ball bearing locking system. It's the disc, it lifts up, it lets the air out, and it drops right back down. And what's cool about this design, not having ball bearings, one, you're not losing them. Uh, two, you don't gotta change them out. Uh, and three, what's cool that this has for it, opposed to other hookahs, is that any slight little purge it, it's smooth, it's like effortless. Any amount of pressure, and you can purge it. Yeah, and, and you can't, uh, I don't know, there's almost like a challenge for you at home if you own one. I don't know if this is possible for you to flood the bowl. Uh, yeah, I mean. Oh, I'm getting lightheaded trying to careful. get, I'm trying to get water back up into yeah, the bowl. Yeah, you're not gonna, it's not gonna flood the bowl. Cause listen, Gorgana, you threw the gauntlet out there, you put the challenge, the advocates up to this test, you're saying that we can't somehow flood the bowl, and I'm trying, so far you're right, and I hate it. All normal, st like, all normal kind of uh, environment, like an appropriate water level, and, and we're not impeding the, the disc. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think you're going to be able to back, back purge or whatever. What is the term for that? I don't know, let's make it up. Back purge? <laughs> Man, I don't know. It's a wonderful disc design, there's nothing like it. You can't, there's nothing like it, except for, on hookahjohn.com you cannot buy a single pipe except for the Gorgon Pond that has the same purging mechanism. None of the pipes in my personal collection have this purge mechanism. And, you know, you've seen uh, purges that have multiple balls. The Alpha has the purge that goes up the stem. You have, like, the uh, concepts that, that, that kind of come out, the... Kaliambalis, they come out of the dragon nose. Yeah, there's X function hookers or whatever. The Mayas Maya, go right? up the stem. They try to purge everything. I mean, like, this shows you right now, because of this design, you don't need some fancy kind of purge mechanism to purge. Look at it. Clear. Boom. Gone. That's pretty cool, man. Now, I'm putting my, my devil's advocate hat on. Uh -oh. Let me see what I did there. See what you did there. I'm putting my devil's advocate hat on, and I'm trying to figure out... Uh, what I hate about this and with a great price point where I if I personally if I'm buying this I don't need the base 129 for this hookah ready to go ready to go with without the base right you may have um, to jumble some juggle your grommets mm -hmm. find the right fit but you have a base at home if you're smoking well you you had an interesting point about something that he actually did not like correct about Plenty of pros. I found one con, and that is this hose port function. It's a 90 degree hose port. In the B-roll, you saw it. It's got the two, double O-ring. It fits in there. Now, props to the design of the actual hose port fitting into the heart, because the metal port and the heart, once you get it in, you're not going to accidentally pull it out. You can wiggle it all you want. It's not falling out accidentally. Mm -hmm. To its own demise, when you try and remove the, the hose, the hose will come off first. Without a doubt, when you're pulling this off, the hose is gonna come off first. If you own this pipe, just go ahead. Oh, watch out, watch out. Well, I just wanna, you know, I wanna show the people. Yeah, you gonna show the people how to burn the, the house down. That's what uh -oh. you're gonna show them. But without a doubt, if you got this at home, this is the hose is coming off. Uh, and then what you have to do is you have to have some grip strength and you have to really pull it out. What I found is the more I smoke this, the longer sessions, if I'm smoking back-to-back -back bowls, I have condensation that builds up. Right, 90 degree ports you don't really have any, any down drip. So yeah. the condensation that builds up doesn't drip back down. It stays here and it goes into the hose because that's the direction that the air is going. 
All right, so you've got a little bit of moisture here. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily a big deal, no. except the hose does fall off. What he's saying is that for all the people who aren't getting what he's laying down, he's laying it down pretty heavy right now, is that the inside the silicone might be a little bit of water. So multiple uses, say you're, you're, you're going, but you're not really like taking the hose out and you're just leaving it. Eventually there's gonna be water that builds up inside the purge connector here and it could make the hose a little bit slippery over time. But damn, I wanna say something evil about this. I wanna say that this is great, but I don't have a butt. I don't have a butt. Like the price point got me good. It's a very well-constructed hookah. I think my only flaws is that it doesn't break down and that you might possibly get water build up in the hose and it might come loose from time to time. But other than that, damn, this is a good fucking pipe. Stainless steel. This is stainless steel. The heart's steel. plastic, but everything else is stainless steel. Yeah, it's not like a Delarin. You would see something from like a Matt Pair or something like that. It is, I think, just plastic. It's just plastic. It's just plastic. I mean, it's got paint on top and paint in the front. Mm -hmm. And I imagine if you scrub hard, you could scrub it off. I'm not going to test it. I don't recommend you test it. There you go. But for the person who's trying to upgrade from a basic setup, it's very enjoyable. You need to think about this pipe. It's very enjoyable. It's a good introduction pipe into the Russian market to see how their pipes are different from something more traditional like a Syrian or uh, a KM pipe. I think I think the price point's good. I think it's very alluring. I think that the pipe does as advertised. It's a it's a it's a pretty smooth draw for me and how we pack our bowls. Um, and this is something that you know even if you somehow manage to ding it up and break it and whatnot. You can just buy another one. It's so cheap. Right. 129 that's... I would recommend getting the, the base with it, though. I mean, that's how I always am. I always buy a base when I buy a new stem. It's always nice to have a good decanter base. And the decanter base, if you don't have one already and you're on the fence, mm -hmm. um, first off, I would make sure that the pipe you're going to put it on will fit. That's what you always have to do first and foremost when buying a base. Make sure that the hose, I mean, the pipe you're putting it in will fit. It's not too tall. But... The, the glass on this, I think this is like Bohemian Crystal or whatever, it's the it's the Checkmate brand. Uh, John brought them in. Uh, they're quality. They work. They have a nice quality standard and they don't, they're not wobbling and it just looks clean. I'm a big fan of the clean bases. Yeah, I think um, personally, me, I like it. You like it. So I, I guess we do advocate for this hookah. For the most part. And I think if you guys see it, hopefully he brings it out to the expo. I know right now, everyone's over in Russia. Everyone's having a good time. You know, they're putting it up over there. And, um... Putting it up. Putting it up. You know, putting it up. Yeah, all the kids are saying it. Putting it up. And, um... Yeah, I dig it. There's not much to say about it. It's weird having a pipe that we we don't have much... It's such a about. simple design that they eliminated a lot of the choke points. They eliminated a lot of the aspects. You don't have to worry about bad machining when you're threading the pieces together because it doesn't come apart. You don't have to worry about That's it not point. showing up with a diffuser because the diffuser is attached. Yes. You don't have to worry um, about the hose, your hose that you choose to fit at home not fitting because it comes with a hose, it comes with a hose port, and it comes with a handle. So short of your tobacco and your shisha and your coals and your bowl, this is going to be a out of the box ready pipe for you if you got the full setup. If you're not using silicone hoses at home, what are you doing? Get to with the picture, okay? Quit using quick lights, get a washable silicone hose. Any of them will fit. Um, I have a, a Derek Moses hose, I imagine that would fit. I have a, the Dream hose, those would fit. They all fit. I, dude, I dig it. I wish I could say more. I will put the details down on the machining and uh, the materials used down in the comments. I'm going to have the link there to Hookah John's site so you can get this dope-ass pipe for an awesome discount because it has a great sale going on for it right now. So, uh, Bracken, I will let you do the honors and smash that down. I advocate. I advocate. This is the Hookah Advocates. This is the Gorgon Pond. We advocate for this pipe.